Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Elon Musk podcast. This is a show where we discuss the critical crossroads that shape SpaceX, Tesla, X, The Boring Company, and Neuralink. And I'm your host, Will Walden. If you want uninterrupted episodes of the Elon Musk podcast, please go to clubelon.supercast.com to find out how. There's a link in the show notes. Tesla has recently made a significant step with their full self-driving beta version 12.1.2. This update, which is now available to a group of non-employee Tesla owners, represents a new milestone in the evolution of the ADAS, or the Advanced Driver System. Um, the update is particularly notable for integrating an end-to-end -end neural network. It's brand new. A shift from the previous reliance on explicit C++ coding. This neural network, trained on a vast collection of video clips, is expected to enhance the system's ability to navigate complex driving scenarios. And the anticipation for this has been building for months, culminating in the release of version 12.1.2. And early feedback from users indicates a more intuitive and human-like driving experience. However, there's a need to manage expectations. While this release marks some progress, it doesn't signify the achievement of level four or even level three autonomy. Nonetheless, the transition to AI for vehicle control is seen as a crucial development akin to Tesla's initial move to AI for its autopilot system. Now, a standout improvement in FSD beta 12.1.2 is its performance in urban driving scenarios. Users have noted smoother transitions and quicker response time, contributing to a more comfortable and natural driving experience. This advancement is attributed to the shift from engineer written code, people code, to training the vehicle control system on videos of actual humans driving. An interesting addition in FSD beta 12.1.2 is the autonomous pullover feature. Demonstrated by Elon Musk, this functionality allows the vehicle to autonomously move to the side of the road at the end of a drive rather than just stopping. This feature exemplifies the practical enhancements being made to Tesla's ADAS. And their approach to the release notes for this significant update is surprisingly small. Unlike previously versions where release notes were extensive and technical, FSD beta 12.1.2 comes with a single sentence. FSD beta version 12 upgrades the city streets and driving stack to a single end-to-end -end neural network trained on millions of video clips, replacing over 300,000 lines of explicit C++ code. Now, this brief statement shows that they're moving away from people and moving towards AI for all of their driver assists. Now, the full impact of the FSD beta 12.1.2 will become clearer as more Tesla owners receive the update and share their experiences. It's particularly interesting, though, to observe how the system performs under various driving conditions, including heavy precipitation, an area where Elon Musk previously acknowledged needed some development. Now, the rollout of this update is expected to be gradual and cautious with many Tesla owners potentially waiting months for access. Tesla is likely to use this release to collect user feedback and aims to address issues and enhance the system through subsequent updates. While Tesla continues to push the boundaries of FSD technology, it's important to remember that the software is still a beta and achieving full autonomy is very complex. It's incremental and it requires extensive testing and validation. Each update, like version 12.1.2, represents a step forward in Tesla's goal of achieving fully autonomous vehicles. And the Tesla's community reaction to FSD beta 12.1.2 has been generally positive, with many testers reportedly showing a noticeable improvement in driving experience. Reports of smoother driving, fewer interventions, and an absence of awkward moments are common, suggesting a significant leap in the system's capabilities. One of the more crucial aspects under scrutiny as the system's performance in challenging weather conditions, specifically heavy precipitation. Musk had previously indicated that this was an area requiring additional training, and observations so far of how this handles will be pivotal in assessing its overall effectiveness in the future. Now, Musk's vision for FSD involves moving beyond the beta phase, an objective he has expressed in the past, and the removal of the beta label would mark a significant milestone in the journey towards full autonomy a goal that Tesla has been steadily working towards for years. And the release of this latest beta has been met with a pretty positive response, like we said before. Not just with the drivers, but with the stock of Tesla. 
However, the exact number of customers receiving this update remains unclear right now. And it looks like Tesla is having a bump in their stock. Tesla CEO uh, has been very vocal about the improvements of this one. It's set to bring often describing upcoming releases as transformative. And despite this enthusiasm, it's crucial to note that as of now, Phil's self-driving is not fully autonomous, but rather an advanced driver assistance system. As Tesla pushes the boundaries of autonomous driving, safety remains a paramount concern. Users under this new beta and other versions are reminded of the importance of remaining alert and keeping your hands on the wheel and take control of the vehicle at any time that something goes wrong. The software, despite all of its advancements, is not a substitute for an active person behind the wheel. Now, looking ahead, Tesla's trajectory in the realm of autonomous driving is poised to be influential. The transition from explicit coding to an end-to-end -end neural network approach could be a huge deal for the trends of the industry. And the success of this FSD beta and subsequent versions will likely inform future developments in autonomous vehicle technology for all manufacturers. Tesla's approach of involving its customer base in the beta testing of FSD is unique, though. The strategy not only provides valuable real-world data, but also creates a sense of community involvement in the development process. User feedback is integral to refining the system and having millions of people test your software and addressing these real world challenges is a huge game changer for Tesla. Now, the advancements that Tesla has of the autonomous driving technology is not occurring in isolation. They're setting benchmarks and challenging other players in the automotive industry to innovate and develop their own autonomous driving solutions. The impact of Tesla's FSD beta versions extends beyond Tesla and beyond the whole company, influencing the direction of the entire industry. Hey, thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your support. If you could take a second and hit the subscribe or the follow button on whatever podcast platform that you're listening on right now, I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps out the show tremendously and you'll never miss an episode. And each episode is about 10 minutes or less to get you caught up quickly. And please, if you want to support the show even more, Go to patreon.com slash stage zero and please take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you tomorrow.